Hey DaVinci Resolve users, so I needed a city background, kind of an animation background for a project that I'm working on. And I thought I would go ahead and do it in DaVinci Resolve because it's such a great program to do something like this. And I'm going to step through how to make something like this. And it's pretty simple to do. I did cover a little bit more detail on animation of parallax backgrounds. So if you want to check that out, I've got the link in the description. And if you're on a desktop, it's up in the right corner here. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. So you're going to need a fusion composition. And in my case, I want to go about 15 seconds. So I'm going to right click on that track and I'm going to say change clip duration. And I'm going to go 15 seconds. Now I'll go ahead and go to the fusion page. Okay. So I've got my media out in place here and I need to go ahead and add some media. So I already have some different backgrounds and they are basically skylines and there's two different versions and I have kind of a night background to place in the back of this. So I want to bring down these elements down into the flow area and I'm going to use billboards basically to create these items kind of like cardboard cutouts. And let's go ahead and connect each of these. And we're going to need to have a merge 3D out here as well. So I'll go ahead and put that in place. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we have right now. You can see everything is stacked on top of each other. Go to the transform tab up here in the inspector with that, that plane selected. And let's move this way back in the Z direction. I'm going to go back about 300. And then on the size, I'm going to ramp the size of this way up because it's going to be way back there. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want these stars and everything kind of following along too fast. It's going to be way back in space. So we don't want to have that kind of trailing along as I move it through this scene here. Let's go ahead and put a camera down in place here as well. I'm going to need to render this out. Go out from my merge 3D into a render 3D. I'm going to pick on that and I want to change the render type to the OpenGL render. I'm going to use my graphics card in here. So if you don't have a decent graphics card, just use the software render as set by default. Let's export that out to the media out. Take a look at our render right now. You can see everything is not showing up. So I need to move my camera. Go ahead and select the camera here and we're going to move it back into space. And let's take a look at that now. So that's still pretty close. Go to my transform and I'm going to move it back quite a ways. It's pretty good. And I want to move it down a bit. I think that is pretty decent right there. I might want to go a little bit closer. All right. I'm pretty happy with that right there. And so you can see these graphics are, they're kind of blacked out. They're silhouettes of buildings. If you want to have something like this, that's what you're going to want to place in here for your graphics where it shows kind of lights in these buildings but i didn't want to do that for this project here's what i have to start and i have these other two planes kind of sitting on top of each other so i'm going to go ahead and separate them right now and i'm going to look at them by looking at this merge 3d node because i can see everything a little bit better and so you can use the on screen controls right here if you'd like or you can use the transform controls here in the inspector itself so basically you want to just space these out along that direction there. And see that looks pretty good. What I want to do now is just repeat some of these items here to make this scene just a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And to make this a little bit more random, I'm going to go in here in the transform and rotate this 180 degrees. Basically in the Y direction there. And so the more pieces that you have that are different, the more randomness you'll have and it won't repeat and be obvious to everybody viewing here. But I'm just going to set this up just for a small piece of my scene so you can see how to put this together. So let's start right there. Let's go back to the render, see where we're at. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'm going to move my camera a bit along the X. That's kind of what I'm going to see. So 
that's looking pretty good you see my background is kind of still there it's moving a little bit but not very much all right so I need to do something else here and so I want to create some more elements some more depth in the scene and I'm going to reuse some of these planes some of these billboards here back into the scene a little bit and I'm going to also do some different coloring on those to, to kind of give it some depth so what I want to do is I'm going to copy one of these sets right here I'm just going to move them up here and we we need to go into the merge 3d again and so this set let's go to the merge 3d you can see there's my controls there so this set here I'm gonna move it back into space let's look at my render now and I'm gonna to go to my transform with that image plane selected. I need to move the Y down a little bit. And I'm gonna offset that. Kind of fill in some of these blanks. And I wanna bring the size of that up just a bit. Let's go ahead and move it back in space a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we need to do one more thing. With that media in selected, go ahead and hit shift spacebar and start typing brightness. And there it is, the brightness contrast. Add that one in. So we're going to affect this image a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring it up here. So I want to change the lift. And let's go with, I'm going to go up to 0. Point, let's go 0. 0.76. You can see that made it a little bit lighter. And with my gamma, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit as well. Please make sure you select pre, divide, post multiply. And so what that does, let me show you. If you don't have this selected, sometimes you're gonna get kind of an edge around these buildings here. So go ahead and make sure that that is selected. Bring that down or bring that up just a little bit more and I want to create some depth with the lighter colors there that yeah, looks pretty good and let's go ahead and position that image plane to kind of fill in some of these gaps here a little bit better good so now as I move my camera yeah that's not enough okay so you know, we've got a little bit of parallax going on there, but I want to move this back quite a bit here. Right there. That's a little bit better. You can see those foreground elements moving at a little bit different pace than the background there. So I'm going to repeat this process and add some more depth and layers to this city right now. You can take a look at how I do this.
right, that's looking really good. I'm pretty happy with that. And here's a couple of results from this effect. And so, like I said, it's really easy in Resolve to put these together and get that really nice parallax effect without really doing any animation. I mean, it's really just a 3D space. You're setting up the elements in a logical fashion and you get that effect automatically, which is awesome in Resolve. And so it's really great for animation projects. You can put together some background stuff very quickly for your projects and it looks really impressive. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions on this procedure, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot for watching today, everybody. Take care.